It's a little bit windy out. We are out here doing a little bit of a challenge, or I don't know challenge is the right word. Just we're doing some fishing and we're doing a little bit of an experiment. Let's put it that way. I wanted to catch some brim today. I'm sorry if this wind noise is absolute cheeks, but today we've got the rank What's that say? Wangler. Chartreuse worms, and then we've got the Wangler Live Fat Juicy Red Worms. I actually have used these before, but never the chartreuse. They are fat and juicy. They are fat and juicy. Look at that thing. Check that out. Neon greenish. Sort of weird. I don't know if I want to touch that. How many chemicals do you think that thing's got pumped into it? Uh, 36,000. We are going to see which one the brim like more. Like I said, this is going to be a, an experiment, and we're going to get after it. See you down at the pond. So Matthew and I are going to start off with a sheer truce. Are you going to start off with one as well? Sure. Yeah. Dude, that is wild. I feel like they're going to just ooze that stuff. Oh, dude. Really Hopefully we're not touching these oozing worms for no reason. Coleman's out here for literally 30 seconds. And look at that chunker. I didn't Jeez. cast it very far. Nice job, dude. Thank you. That's a beast of a gill. Look at the rod that he's using. How, how long is that? Like two and a half foot? Three uh, foot? 3.3. 3. Nice. It's a 5.1 to 1 gear ratio. What a beast. <laughs> so tiny. That's a medium well, Chungus. Oh, I did not even know I had this fish. That's not a terrible one. Is that a brim? That is a brim. What? He choked it. Everyone got pliers. Why didn't you bite harder? Nah, he'll be all right. Look at that. He's good. Fast release. Boom. Check it. Wait. Wow. Them fishies do be squirming though. I love the feel of hoop mud in between my toes. He ate it that time and that is a good one, son. I think. Maybe not as good as I thought. Nope, not as good as I thought. Still a good one. Sheep's head? Look at that sheep's head. The glowing worms. They're doing the trick. That might be a good one. That's definitely a good one. That's a bass. No, that is a giant gill. Check that out. That is a giant gill. And we actually caught this one not too long ago because he's still got the same boo-boo right there. Boo-boo. Uh-oh. Nice fish, though. Thanks, bud. Good to see him again. Coleman is waxing them right now. I've caught no big ones. We hadn't even tried the, the red ones. All right, I'm changing to the regular. See what, what the dealio is. All right, guys, so I now have a regular worm. No die included. As of right now, I'm probably last on the leaderboard as it is, so you can only go up from here. Are you? <laughs> oh. Dude. Oh, dude. Oh, not yep. Giant cat. Oh. Holy moly. Well, my wheel, my wheel ain't got, oh. <laughs> ain't got enough power. Nice catfish, dude. Thanks, bud. Ate a worm. Ate a worm. Right on the drop. Oh. Oh, there he is. Yep. Big catfish. Hey, big one. Look, he's walking. Okay. Well, as of right now, neither of the worms are really shining out. We've caught a lot of fish on both. Um, but so far, the bigger fish have actually come off of glow worms. So it might be something there. I don't know. We're going to keep casting and see what we come out with. All right. I got to catch something of decent caliber here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh look at that gill. Finally, dude. That, my friends, is a giant. Why are you so slimy? If I was Monster Mike, I'd drink that. I'm not Monster Mike. That is a chunker of a bluegill. I mean, good grief. Look at all the speckles on it. I know. He's a very pretty fish. Gotta love the big old gill skis. You got him? Dude, I like this rod. <laughs> <laughs> on the pin rod. Dang, that's well, another You can good actually one. get some from Walmart. Got it. Something's got it? Yeah. Good luck. I bet it's a catfish. I think it probably is. I'd set that booger. I know you got him. When the great hook set the drag was so loose. Oh god! Oh, oh god. sheesh. He turned on. As soon as he gets to the dirt, he takes off! I think it's a cat. Yeah, because as soon as he gets close to the dirt, he just boom, 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 boom. I just tire him out, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can do. There he goes. Holy crud. You're at the leader. Oh yeah, that's good. Holy crap, that's a big cat. 
That's a big cat daddy right there. I told you it was a cat, bud. Yeah. Look at him. At first, I thought it was a bass. I could have sworn that it was a bass. Did he choke it? Oh, yeah. We're probably going to have to do some surgery. Yep. Mm, definitely. He'll be okay. Catfish are tough. Tough little boogers. How far did you swallow it? Quite far. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I don't see the hook. Yeah. I uh, just cut it. Hey, yeah, go. What is that noise? <laughs> Look at all these fry, guys. There's got to be thousands. Probably millions, honestly. Most of them are gonna get munched, though. We're gonna put a uh, glow worm back on there. See what happens. I think, honestly, I think the what's it called cons consensus is that they're about the same. Come on with it. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come here, Mr. Gilligan. Oh. Again? Yeah. God. Son, check that guy out. Oh, peeing. Buddy boy's peeing. All right, bud. Swim off good. Uh-oh. There you go. Keep swimming. Oh, oh. You ready for this? Got him. Doubled up? Doubled up, bro? Yours looks better than mine. <laughs> Oh, you got a bass. Nice. Oh, that's a female. She's ready to pop, boys. Golly. I need them pliers after you, sir. Hold on, honey. Hold on. I want to show you to the camera. Look how chunky that girl is. She is ready to absolutely pop with eggs. We need to get her back pretty quick so she can go lay them, but super pretty fish. All right, so that is going to be it for the footage for today. I did have more footage. We did catch a few more fish, but unfortunately, my GoPro got some fish slime or some sort of smudge on it and not too good, so I decided to cut it. But you aren't missing much. It was just a few more brim. In the end, we figured out that it's pretty much a tied ball game with the glow worms and the regular just plain jane worms that you get out of the ground the only downside to the glow worms if y'all ever go and get them when you hook them they do ooze whatever chemical that they put in them that makes them glow they ooze that stuff out and it's pretty sticky it's more sticky than your average worm guts so y'all just be aware of that but i was impressed honestly going into it i really didn't know if the glow worms were going to catch anything at all like i said they turned out pretty good so thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here stick around for a while and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and if you're not new here thank you so much for tuning in yet again be sure to hit that like button i cannot wait to see you next time i hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day and i'll be seeing you later Bye.